How we doing guys, myself Chris Preddy OBE here and you have a quick one, Real Talk True Season. And now I want to get into this because it's true what the Jamaicans are doing out there. Do you reckon that we should raise the sentences on these young men carrying knives and carrying guns? There's an element of young people that sit there and say, man don't care anyway. Man's going to do four years, come out, do two. Like, man get four years, come out, do two. Like, they, they don't seem the, the harsh realities or sometimes the consequences of their actions. So there is a part of me like, yo, give my man 15 years and let him go and rock. If you want to do the crime, then do the time. That's the kind of basis that I'm coming off. And there's certain elements that we're starting to see within the, the society and the way that things are going up. Like, we have a problem. I don't know if you lot have realised. I don't know if anyone's been seeing the news lately. I don't know if anyone's been looking at their kids lately. Yeah, kids lately. They're dying. They're stabbing each other. You know what's there? A police officer was just stabbed just the other day in the neck, in the chest. So once again, we've got problems, guys. And we can sit there and bang on about the government. We can sit there and bang on about the police and the things that they are not doing. Rightfully so. They ain't bringing up no laws. They ain't pushing up the sentences. They have took away all the youth clubs. They, um, there is a lack of opportunities and a lack of funds for young people. But let's bring it back to the basics. Majority of the young people right now, and this is going to be hard for some of you parents to swallow. Majority of the young people right now that are committing crime and running around, they have broken trauma. I'll say it again. The kids that are running around committing crimes have broken trauma. And some of you parents might be single parents. Some of you fathers might be single parents. Some of you fathers might be in the house in the mum and sense, mum and dad. But there's certain traumas that your child is going through that is making them feel like waking up and killing someone. I don't want to hear no one telling me I've done the best that I can. Well, obviously, it's not good enough. Just throwing it out there. We need to take the reality. So, yes, we can give them 15 years and say he was holding a gun. But hold on a minute. Why was my man holding a gun? And 9% of the time, or if not 90% of young people that's in prison is from single parent households. Whether you're the father or the mother. So, that's letting you know there's some trauma that's going on with the mistakes that you decided to choose within your life i.e. the partner, whereas you guys sitting there talking about, oh, she was a whole mum, she was a any rare, rare, well, that's what you chose, and then now your child has got trauma, has got trauma because she's having another guy and another guy and another guy and another guy in her life, and then he wakes up one day and doesn't respect women, wants to put his hand on a woman, flip side as well, women, you want to raise your boys and say, yeah, and kick the father out the house, but not showing him no elements, not showing him no structure and what a man's meant to be. And then before you know it, he's running around having broken trauma from his dad or from his upbringing of decisions that you decided to make and not focus on him. Because that's what we do a lot with our parenting, where we sit there, we're doing the best that we can. We work, rare, rare, but we don't focus. We don't focus on the needs and wants. We don't focus on the real structure of what that should be in a sense of a mother and a father and what is our role. We're too quick to run. Yeah, I said it. We're too quick to run. Everyone wants to be independent. Everybody wants to do what they want to do. Guys as well, bruv. You're quick to pull it in, bruv, and then you're ducking out, fam. When it comes down to responsibilities, you're so quick to leave the yard. Man's going anyway. Man's not taking this. And don't get it twisted, women. I know that sometimes within that respect, you're saying, well, how can I build a home, Chris, if he keeps walking out of the home? I get it. Man them. Sort it out. Understand the problems that you are going to now create for your child to have trauma, to now want to go and kill someone and feel like it's okay to sit down for 25 to life. Think about what I'm saying. There is young people out there killing and stabbing, knowing there's a possibility that they're going to serve 25 to life. Where's that trauma come from? Someone doesn't just wake up and just want to go and stab people. Someone that just doesn't want to wake up and want to commit crime. There is an understanding of the things that we've done, decisions that we've made. And you've got to swallow it, parents. There's some decisions that we've made. Us as parents, that we made the wrong decision in the sense of the partner that you chose or the lifestyle that you chose or the way that you handle situations or the way that you are as a person. You have to take consideration of the trauma that you've now put onto your child, onto your children. And there's a fact of the matter where we don't like to take accountability. Nah, none of that. It's not my fault, it's him. He's a waste man, Chris. He's a waste man. He's a dickhead. He doesn't pay for his kids. He doesn't pay for his kids. It's not always about money. Chill out. Why is everyone so focused on the, the, the fundamentals and the sense of what he should be providing? You should be saying to your man, listen, you need to be here for the command still. You need to be nurturing. You need to be time. You need to be putting that effort in to make sure that he's getting that right installation and not just dipping his pocket and making his man just feel like he's a financial cow. 
But at the same time, you as women need to understand where it meets the line in the sense of, okay, cool, I've got a man, he's standing up, he's trying to be the best that he can. Stop shooting him down. Stop not allowing him to see his child. Stop not allowing him to be a part of his life. If you guys didn't want to step up in the first place and under what it's took like to have a child, to bring a child into this world. So there's a part of me that's looking at some of these kids like, send them to prison, bruv, you get me? They've been knocking on the door for prison. And then some of the times I'm looking at it like, no, this is the parents' it's fault. Bad decisions that you've made, regardless whether you can sit there and you want to take ownership for it, when you want to sit there and take accountability. If your child right now has got a criminal record and he's running around wild, start looking at your face. Start looking at your 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 relationship. Start looking at the, the certain things of what your child is doing to what you're doing. If your child is rude and disrespectful, look in the mirror. Maybe you're rude and disrespectful. Maybe the father's rude and disrespectful. Maybe the mother's rude and disrespectful. Start looking at yourself and stop sitting there blaming everybody else and blaming society, blaming school when the school teacher's telling you, yo, your child's got a problem. No, it ain't. Why don't you just teach them? Rare, rare. You don't know what I'm dying through. All the rest of it. Okay, we know. You might be a single mother. Okay, we know you might be in a relationship and people find it difficult. There is no book and no rule to parenting. But at the same time, if your child's gone out there and your child wants to commit murder, then I feel like you've made a mistake somewhere down the line. And if you don't want to take that accountability, then this is crazy and wild because none of our children just wake up. Children are like a sponge. They watch us all the time. They look at us like God. They look at us as Jesus. They look at us as the Holy Grail. So yes, they get to form their character. Yes, they get to form their personality. I hear people always saying, oh, but that's their personality. That's their character. Where did that character come from? They started off from two, three years old. They were watching you. So whatever's come out of them, the good and bad, because we always like to take the good as parents, isn't it? Oh, look at them, they're just like me. Yeah, he's a runner, athlete, or a real, determined, driven. You you love your child to take the positives, but what about the negatives that you have given them? What about that attitude or that understanding where you feel like entitled or, or privileged? What about the relationships that you're having with women and men and your child seeing that? Down to you men as well. If you keep dipping out on all your kids and all the rest of it, what do you think he's seeing in a sense of a role model? Not, no respect for women. Same thing with you women. If you're going to keep having an understanding and putting down men and then expecting your young man to go out there and respect a woman, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be very, very hard for him to understand it because he's never seen you respect a man. Same thing with the men. He's never seen you respect a woman. So how is he meant to identify that? And then everyone will sit there as their child. I hear most mothers say that. No girl can talk to my son like that. No, no woman's not going to mess up my son's head. But it's funny how he can watch you mess up another man's head. Watch you mess up someone else and be rude and be disrespectful. And that's you holding your independency. And the same thing with a guy. It's, it's, it's like it's nice when you're, you're seeing your dad with a different girl. Yeah, son. <laughs> yeah, it's a war. It's a prize. It's not a prize. This is the reason why we've got dysfunctional uh, uh, relationships and dysfunctional kids within our culture, within our, our, our surrounding in the sense of our society. Yes, we can blame certain things in the sense of, like I said before, the government not raising the laws, not being having enough to, to support, but it starts from home. It starts from decisions that we're making and we need to make better decisions on the reasons why young people are on the way they are. I know it's a tough pill to swallow. I know there's a lot of you silent listeners talking about, ah, oh, I hate Chris, he's always trying to... No, yeah, I'm talking to you as well. I'm talking to you that don't click. I'm talking to you that don't like. I'm talking to everybody. Everybody's got a part to play in it. And you need to look at your children and look at your relationships and understand why your child might be committing a crime. And if not, we need to look at it in a situation. Do we need to raise the, 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 the sentencing for crime because young people ain't taking it seriously? And that is a something, that question that we need to ask as well. But it ain't about just throwing a book at them. It's about us also, the installation that we've put into them. What is you guys' thoughts? Comment below. Jamaica, there is no purpose for an illegal firearm but to kill somebody there's no animal we don't have nothing to hunt we don't have anything else to do with the gun it cannot chop cane and it cannot peel fruits it's not a knife it's not a machete it's a gun it has one purpose and that is to shoot people and an illegal gun is there to shoot people and do murders that's what it's there for now we've done a lot of lobbying yesterday the new firearms act passed the lower house and is on its way to the senate what that means is that for those people in the illegal gun trade whether you possess it traffic it transport it bring it into the country or whatever you do with it you will be facing sentences of 15 years and upwards you know what that means I want you to, this has 
significant impact. It means that the guy who you saw with the gun and gets caught, you don't have to worry about him again for a long, long time. That is, for us as the police officers, that will make a huge difference because the team in Westmoreland has seen these guys like a revolving door. They've been in our custody, they've been out, they've been charged for illegal cause, they have paid their fine, they've gotten their one year and they're back out to do the same things that they were doing.